Hello there, I am Black Bright and broadcasting out the UK. If it's the first time you're visiting my channel, then welcome. Subscribe, share, like. Um, I talk about lots of different things and sometimes I talk about American situations, which is what I'm going to talk about this evening. And sometimes I talk about other things. Well, today, the reason why I'm talking of sticking my nose in America again is because I I subscribe to a lot of different things and today I saw this video and they were talking about how DACA which is the deferred action of children in America I think that's the the correct name for it how by legalizing them these are the children who came over with their parents they came to America as children with their parents and their parents are undocumented, a lot of them. So what's happened is when Obama got in, he tried to, um, he put out this executive order so that DACA children could stay in the country for two more, two, two more years, I believe, and they could actually get a work port permit and they'd be protected against deportation. Well, of course, September 2017, Trump decides, no, that's not going to work. All it's doing is encouraging more immigration. Anyway, so I heard this woman this morning and she was going on about, oh, we can't just make a blanket statement. Because what's happened is those who applied before 2017 are technically eligible to get their green card under the system. Now, what they're saying now is that they can't get it that way because... Uh, most of them are criminals and they've got a criminal background and there has to be a double screening process in order to make sure that they're not letting all these criminals, um, giving all these criminals a green card. I could see her fumbling and you know what, you know, there's a bit more to it than meets the eye, but hey, this is what they're saying. So anyway, so that was this morning. Then this evening, I'm, you know, I'm looking at my phone and I see millions of um, immigrants, undocumented immigrants, are going to be deported as of Sunday. And I'm like, hmm, let me look into this a little bit more. So I started reading it and it was talking about how they're going to um, focus on 10 cities as of Sunday and they kept and in this article I put the article in the link they were talking about oh it's going to affect families and they don't really want to break up families but if the father isn't home or if the mother isn't home it, it's probably going to break up families so I'm thinking to myself it's a bit coincidental in the morning they were talking about DACA children well DACA and now in the, by this evening, they're talking about how they're going to deport millions of families. So I started putting two and two together, and I believe they're going for the parents. They call them DAPA. They're going to for the parents of these children. That's what I believe. So even though the children are technically citizens, they're going to be going for the parents, and the parents are going to get booted out. Now, this is a very expensive operation. They've already asked Congress for £4.5 billion to carry it through. Um, I think I've got some figures here. They, oh, they also have this rocket docket system where they can process thousand, well, about a thousand cases in a day, which is three seconds per case. And these, this rocket docket um, system is in Georgia, Texas, California, Kentucky, Louisville, Wisconsin, and Florida. So it's probably likely that they might be um, doing it in these in these cities because at least they can process it quickly. I'm not sure. Um, Three hundred forty million to fund beds for immigration detention centres, um, 33.7 million to fund ICE removal, and like I said, 4.5 billion has been requested from Congress. But, you know, the parents are dreamers, as they call them. I think they are in trouble. 
serious trouble because the, the eyes have been trained now and um, apparently Trump went put out a tweet on Monday saying that millions, what did he say? Um, millions, ICE is preparing to deport millions next week. And then what I said, what I saw this evening is that it's as of Sunday. So let me give you a little background into DACA. I'll have to read it. Um, and I was surprised how much DACA had in common with the Windrush generation, you know, the descendants of the Windrush, because it's a similar thing, only um, with the Windrush, they had from 1972, no, from 1948 to 1972, I believe. I think any children born within that area were kind of protected from deportation and were able to get their papers. This is a similar um, situation where anyone under 30, I think there was, anyway, I'm going to read it because I don't want to get confused. Okay, first of all, let me give you the acronym. DACA is Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. It, were, it is an American immigration policy that gives administrative relief from deportation. It only lasts for two years, though. The purpose of DACA is to pr protect eligible immigrant youths who came to the United States as children from deportation. DACA gives young undocumented immigrants protection from immigration and a work permit. It also gives them a work permit so they're allowed to work. The program expires after two years subject to renewal. In Arizona, 24,990 people have been benefited under DACA, according to USCIS, that's United States Citizens and Immigration Service. And, um, and I doubt there'll be any more now. Trump has closed it down. So before 2017, you might have stood a chance. If you had, if you have it already had it processed, you're fine. But if you're waiting for it to be processed, you might have a bit of trouble. Apparently, these children are known as dreamers and have been okay. The children, what the DACA, they're known as as dreamers, and apparently. Um, they have been arrested, some of them have been arrested for demonstrating to keep their parents in the country, which has given them a criminal record. So technically, if they got arrested um, for protesting against the unfair removal of their parents, then they're going to be booted out as well because they have a criminal record. And one of the criteria of DACA is that you don't have a criminal record. OK, the Dream and Promise Act, that, that, that's what they were talking about this morning, passed by the House of Representatives, provided amnesty for 3.4 million illegal aliens, including 800,000 illegal aliens who received DACA benefits under the Obama administration. You see, you see how they hype it up. I mean, there is no proof of these figures. I think, you know, remember when um, Savage Javid was, was deporting all those Jamaicans and they were saying, oh, they're dangerous criminals, violent offenders. Turns out half of them were um, being done for uh, road offences and spliffs. You know, but they have to justify it. They have to let it, they have to make the people think their action is justified. And the thing is, people don't challenge it. People just listen and take it on and say, oh, if that's the case, then yeah, they've got to get rid of them. If they're all criminals, yeah, get rid of them. If they're all this and they're all that, all illegal aliens or whatever they are. But a lot of those children were brought over by their parents. It's not their fault that they are undocumented. And I know the Obama administration tried to sort it out, but why just give them two years? What are they supposed to do after the two years? Born in the US, been there all their lives. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. And then the parents are still undocumented. It's a bit weird after such a long time. Oh, I just think that, you know, if you have remained undocumented for so long, you're giving people the power to mistreat you, to abuse you and to kick you out. 
I mean, there must be various reasons why um, parents of these children are undocumented and who didn't take advantage of things that were out there. They did have an amnesty, I think, in, 1980, in the 1980s. Maybe, I mean, 30 years ago, that's bloody hell, time flies. They would have missed that. Anyway, um, let me see. U.S. is saying that by making a blanket decision, they are legalizing 10,000 people with a criminal history who would otherwise be disqualified from getting a green card. Original rules from DACA exempted those who had committed certain types of crimes, and this one is no different. They claim, uh, the U.S. CIS claims 54,000 had criminal records of arrest before applying for DACA, 17,000 had multiple criminal arrests, 8,000 with DACA have committed crimes after receiving benefits. Um, convictions of domestic abuse, child pornography, kidnapping, human trafficking and murder. These are what they're claiming these um, 10,000 of these illegal immigrants are. I mean, to be honest, if you was in a country and you heard that 10,000 illegal immigrants were committing these crimes, you'd be in an uproar. But the thing is, what I, I am concerned about is that there is no evidence. People will just take what the media tells them. There's no proof. It's not like they show you documentation and say, look, this is what we've got. It's just words. And, but it's enough to rile people up, get people angry, get people frustrated, get people fearful. So it's done its job, really. Whether it's true or not, is neither here nor there. Um, what else is there? Um, they are concerned that those who are still eligible for DACA because their applications went in before Trump banned it in 2017 are going to be automatically converted to green card status and they could be violent criminals. So now they're calling for a secondary screening. Well, you know that once they have a secondary screening, they don't stand a chance in hell. Um, the Windrush generation of oh, well, they were protected anyway during that period. I don't know what happens in that situation, though, because those Windrush, uh, ch the children of the Windrush generations, I mean, if they had criminal records during that period, they weren't deported. I don't know. Or maybe, the, maybe yeah, I think, it, I think they do get deported if they've committed a criminal offence even if they are the Windrush generation. I think they do. So it's, it is very, there are some similar, um, there are some similarities here. Um, what are the requirements for DACA? You were under 31 years old as of June the 15th, 2012. You, you, fir you first came to the United States before your 16th birthday. You have lived continuously in the United States from June the 15th, 2007 until the present. You were physically present in the United States on June the 15th, 2012, and at the time you apply, you came to the United States without documents before June the 15th, 2012, or your lawful status expired as of June the 15th, 2012. You are currently studying or you graduated from high school or earned a certific certificate of completion of high school or GED or have been honourably discharged from the Coast Guard or military technical and trade school completion also qualifies and you have not been convicted of a felony. Certain significant misdemeanours including single a single driving while under the influence or three or more misdemeanours of any kind. So if this applies to you, you're going to have to seek an attorney. Um, yeah, so it is very, very similar to our system. I guess it would be, though, because we're all kind of working together. Um, of course, you're going to need the proof of ID. And to get the application on a DACA, it's going to cost you £495, what, dollars? 
which is not bad actually, is it? Considering, okay, no, it's not bad. Um, um, they're going to need to provide one document for every three months from June 2007 through to the present month. Um, they need school records, financial records, taxes and all that. I'm not really going to go into all of that, actually. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting that I came across this. And then I hear this evening that millions are going to be deported. So they're going to be doing a sweep. They're going to be doing a sweep, fellas. Millions of families are going to be pounced on as of Sunday. So you better all stick together. So at least if you leave, you're all in the same house at the same time. You're all together. Because if one is out in the field as it was um, in the Bible, one is out of the field, the others will be taken away and you'll be left. So yeah, so these are trying times and it's not going to be pretty. They've got it all sorted out. They've got it all planned. They've got the money in place. I think the 4.5 billion hasn't been approved yet, but it is going through Congress. But they've got all the money. They've got the ice in on board. They've got, they paid for all the transport and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, trying times. And that's all for now. Bye bye.